Hello game watchers. I wanted to make this video for some time because I think this uh, particular model of game watch, the Tommy line, is something that's just fading off into oblivion and these were really great watches. I'd like to show you the ones that I have and how they work um, and a possible way to uh, fix one of the issues that is making these become very rare. So first off, I'll show you uh, this, this is what commonly happens with these watches. You can see the, the band in here. And this watch, when I got it, had never been used um, was in the box uh, since <laughs> I think these were 82 or so, 83. Uh, these came out, was never used, but the band just disintegrates into nothing. Um, in fact, I don't know of one of these in existence that actually has a wearable band. Um, they just uh, crack to nothing. So this particular watch when I got it again was brand new I had the original battery never installed too so um, I happened to have a, a friend who's an engineer and to 3d printing and he was able to remake uh, the slides that these came with so these watches were made so that when you played the game you could just slide off the band and then you had your game very very accessible very easy to use um, just a really cool feature, but the band rubber was just not good. The rest of the plastic and everything on these was, is just fine. Um, I wanted to show you, I guess, the functions of, of these and, uh, well, leave your comments as to what you think. Uh, this one in particular is the Watchman Pro Wrestling and has a couple of modes. Uh, the time mode here, uh, if you hit the, the button on the side, it turns the alarm on. Uh, to set the watch, to set the alarm, you hit the set button while the alarm is on, and then you can go minutes and hours. And to set the time, you turn the alarm function off, and then you can use the set button to set the time. On the mode, you can cycle through. Uh, the first mode on this one is stopwatch. So you can start stopwatch, stop it, and then hit this button to reset. If you go through the mode, it will remember where you last stopped the stopwatch otherwise. The other thing I like about these Tommy watches is you see the animation. <laughs> the wrestler who fell down his butt crack is showing. It's They just have some comedy elements in these with the animation I just love. But anyway, you can cycle through. The next one is is the game. and These are very easy watches. It's, it's just a, a timing thing. Now this one has a low and a high. Um, so when you when it's ready to go here, you either have to um, hit the guy when he's on the top of the bars or on the bottom. And if you hit the wrong one, he will get you. Oh, so hit the wrong one. So he's climbing. I go high. I'm able to get him. And I believe with this one as well, if you hit uh, it's either three or four in a row correctly, um, then your points. Um, go up faster so with the other games you'll see too oh see now he went low and now he can get me so all of these Tommy watches too just have a buzz sound that I, I know of I don't have all of them but I have several here and they all make that same noise so and then you can cycle back through to the time there is no pause function so if you go through the uh, the game and, and you have to look at the time or whatnot, um, you lose your progress if you go back with the mode. Uh, anyway, to replace the battery, that's where it's it's a little harder. Um, you have to be very, very careful with these. Uh, a little screwdriver goes in that little slot and you pry up. Um, but the uh, the circuit board is, is also there, so you can't stick the screwdriver in very far. You could damage the circuit board. You have to just be very careful, and these are wedged in really tight. So anyway, that's that's it for this one. Um, the other ones that I have, I have the uh, Pro Golf, or the Watchman Golf. Um, this is the first golf game that they made. They made two, uh, the Golf 2, and they're identical. The only thing that's different is is the casing. So with this one, they integrated more of the the words on the the glass part instead of on the outside. Uh, gameplay is is exactly the same. Uh, the same with the, the slides. Um, same everything else. 
I believe the battery, yeah, the battery comes out the same as well. This one I have different uh, slides so that I can have a NATO type strap in it, but same functions. So with this particular game, these are quite fun. Very basic again though, so this one does not have a stopwatch function, it's just uh, either the alarm or the time in the game. So there's the alarm. You can barely, it's almost flush, but you can just hit it on the on the second edition. They did bump that out a little bit, so the alarm is easier to, to turn on and off. But I guess that can also be a bad thing because you could bump it and not have an alarm. But anyway, um, it'll have your, your whole number and, and how much is par, and then you have the distance. And all you have is the shot button, so it's just a matter of, of hitting it at the right spot. Okay, so we are all set here to play. It's just a matter of timing again. All you have to do is is how far of a distance you want the ball to go. Um, it automatically picks what club to use as well. So I'm going to go all the way back on the swing, hit the shot. And once in a while, you get a flop. So we still at 313 meters to go. I'm going to give it another really good crack. Okay. And that's what happens when you hit a tree. See the, the tree uh, blink a bit. So that's also an option. There's no sand traps or water traps, but just the trees that you can hit. Give it a three-quarter swing. Not doing so hot this round. Forty-one meters left. Okay, it's just a little chip on. And then you either have a long or a short putt, basically. And you know, for the short putt, usually. If you just do the first one, you get it in. You get this little buzz to tell you you've got it in. So hole two, par five, 520 meters. Hopefully we get a better drive out of this one. All right, that's much better. 281 meters left. Take another full swing. Not very good one. Okay. Chip on. Oh, doesn't always. There we go. Have to make sure you get it right at the right time. Okay. So there we go. If um. You switch back into the mode at any time, you lose your progress on the game, though. That's one downfall. Uh, but if you play through the whole game and you hit that mode button, it'll tell you what your uh, last high score or low score, I guess, uh, was. So this one I haven't played all the way through, so that's why it has 99. Just flash there. On the, the Golf 2, I've played already at a 47 the last, last time. So those are the golf watches. Uh, the other one that I have, I think this is the funniest one of them all, the fishing watch. So this one, just like the wrestling, pro wrestling has uh, the stopwatch mode as well. So stopwatch, alarm, game, and time. So you can stop that and, and reset. This game, you are the gentleman fishing. And you have to hit it, catch the fish, when that bobber sinks all the way down. And if you don't, well, you'll see what happens. So let's give this a go. Okay, so if I don't, the lure comes back, snags my girlfriend in the dress, and she kicks me in the water. And then I lose a hat, which goes up here. You lose three hats, and you are done. If you also just sit here too long without actually 
uh, catching the fish uh, when you should. She also boots you in the water. Okay, let's legit try to catch a fish here. There we go. So one goes in the bucket and you get five points. Now if you catch, I think, four in a row, the points go up a lot faster, just like in the, the pro wrestling game. Oh, and sometimes the fish go get off as well. Okay, so one more, hopefully. Oh, I messed up there. Anyway, if you get it uh, four in a row, then you, you get, um, I think it goes up by like 30 points instead of five or something like that. It's, it's quite a bit. So this is the fishing watch. Uh, pretty much the same as, as the other ones as far as the battery. They, these take a huge battery. It's the, the 2035, uh, CR 2035, three volt battery. So it's a very, very big battery. And actually they don't last very long either. Um, you really, even just, uh, just playing in the box there, I think they get about a year. Um, but if you play them, plan on replacing the battery every few months or so, uh, they just, uh, they just really burn through it. So, well, those are the watches I wanted to show you. I do have another Tommy watch that I'm, I'm wearing. It's probably the, the most rare one that, that I know of. Um, Tommy did a version of, of Pac-Man. And I'm going to make a separate video on this. Uh, they had the rights to Pac-Man and, and uh, made their own game of it instead of using uh, the Pac-Man name that was picked up by uh, Nelsonic, uh, made the Pac-Man watch. But anyway, I'm going to do a separate video on, on this particular one. This is an extremely rare watch and very, very cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, go ahead and <laughs> hit like if you did. Leave comments uh, if you have one of these watches as well. And hope to see you in the next video.